Hi, I'm David Bell. Welcome to episode 9 of 10. It's called Up Close and Personal with Google Apps in your Mahara-based ePortfolio. If you've been following the series in Kiwi Connection so far, you'll know that we use the Practical Theology channel in YouTube for storing and distributing our videos. We could also upload them to Google+. Once you're on your home page, just click to your profile and you'll see that What's New With You has a section where you can upload videos. Not going to do that, but just also remind you that you could even store your videos most conveniently onto your Google Drive. And it's on Google Drive that I've uh, got an idea to share with you. In fact, I've got two very special ideas to share with you tonight. The first up is embedding a survey from Google Apps into a portfolio page. Now, to create a survey, you go to Google Forms and just fill out as they ask. You'll see that a survey is a very useful tool. So I've created this survey. And at the same time that the survey is created, there's also a spreadsheet that's created along with it. And to get the embed code for your spreadsheet, just click on Form. That's a bit counterintuitive because we've just come from Form, but there is a tab Embed Code. Now, where would I find an example of an embedded form? Let's click on the latest views. And there we are. There is a Google Form. Uh, sitting there, if I fill it out online, it automatically saves back into that spreadsheet. If I scroll a little bit further down, I see that in our latest edition of RDET News, we are focusing on something that's called zines. Here in Kiwi Connection, we're quite busy creating zines, our own zines. You may say, well, what is a zine? Some Kiwi Connection participants have been busy writing sermons, poems, reflections, haiku, graphics, all of those things. And by looking in the various groups in Kiwi Con Connection, you can see uh, just how extensive the resourcing is. And particularly in creative spaces, there are all kinds of things going on. Art and craft, book club forums, all things literary, cinema, YouTube, uh, plus some micro MOOCs and far country correspondence. One topic, one focus, one headline, and when you think your page on one topic sermon idea is complete uh, with text, graphics, video, external links, surveys, then you suggest Kiwi Connection publishes it as a zine. We create zines with author input direct from already created pages. So I'm on Rosalie Segru's page and if I cl just click on my zine, you can now see that her zine has popped up and there are and a variety of pages in this zine. You can uh, scroll through, see each page, and so on. The important thing is the reach of the zine is limited only by the reach of your own ideas or concepts. Your ePortfolio pages have to be very tight and well edited because in the zine we refer back to things that are going on elsewhere. For example, the League of Lilith that Rosalie wrote is uh, connected directly to EGPL. So that's a, that's a really quite helpful thing. What else can you see linked here? Well, in page two of this zine, notice that there are in fact no page numbers because the zine is not meant to be sequential, but you can uh, pop and flit about as you like. Find out more about who wrote this zine. If you do that, you're brought back to Rosalie's profile page. And in fact, if you wanted to, you could uh, scroll on this profile page and you start to see other books that she's written, PDFs that she's written, um, and her portfolio. So there's a collection there of five uh, pages and various sermons, arc thoughts, etc. Now, I'm not going to uh, stay with that because I'm more interested in the zine at this point. Rosalie's zine can be shared into Facebook, uh, it can go through uh, Twitter. It looks good as an image over in Facebook, and I'll just show you how. Uh, I'll go to my Facebook page, and there we are. There's the zine that is uh, in Kiwi Connections, been shared out to Facebook. 
if I now click it, I end up back at the um, Zen headquarters, if you like, or all the pages are on display there, and I can share it. It's got pizzazz, it's got the wow factor, it's got everything that a dedicated e-portfolio does best and can only do, because none of the social media handle things in quite the same way. So join me next week for the short final in the series, and thanks for watching.